so many people come here and say, well, I don't know how to relax. Well, we're going to help you. We're going to help you to relax because we are experts at relaxing. I'm Mike Kasakamano, and this is Rise Above Flotation, and we're in Mount Kisco, New York. We're coming upon a year and a half now, and it's been amazing. Floating is having a pop culture moment. It's being featured in a lot of movies and a lot of TV shows. I'm seeing it on the news almost every week. It's becoming more and more mainstream, just as yoga has been, uh, and how meditation and mindfulness has. You are waking up a natural experience inside of yourself, and we want to kind of reflect that with the way we decorated the place. Everywhere you turn, the colors are warm and they're earth tones, because we want you to stay in that relaxed state as long as possible. We have three different kinds of rooms in order to cater to any level of claustrophobia that people may have, because that's the number one thing that people are hesitant about when they think about whether they want to try a float session or not. What we have is a pod, which is the most claustrophobic. Now, even though it's a claustrophobic situation technically, it's called the tranquility pod by the people who make it because the door automatically opens at the end, releasing you a new person. The next room we have for intermediate claustrophobes, that's the middle ground. You still have to get into something, but it's a very large, not a tank, it's a cabin. It's designed for two people, it's extra wide. It would be about the size of the garden shed that your dad keeps his lawnmowers in, pretty big. We also have, for extreme claustrophobes, a room called the open float room. And this is a special room where we actually make the whole room the tank. So when you open up the door to the room, it's very humid, uh, but you don't have to get into a cabin and close the doors behind you. It's just like getting into a bathtub and turning the lights out. Sometimes people like to float with other things, so we offer massage, and we found that people who have a float before their massage find that the massage is incredibly effective because the float takes the place of the effleurage, which is the first part of a massage where you're actually melting the muscles and making them more malleable and susceptible to the therapeutic part of the massage, which is at the end where you're actually manipulating and dealing with the muscles and tendons and ligaments and all that stuff. I'm not a massage therapist, but this is the reports that I'm hearing back from our customers. They say they can't go back to a regular massage now because they, it just feels extra good after a float. Rise Above Flotation also hosts a residency with Lumina New York, who is the only company that facilitates the Lucia Number no. 3 hypnagogic light machine. You close your eyes and you allow the light to flicker against the back of your eyelids and your brain creates images upon that flickering that, that comes from within. So you, you basically have these incredible uh, visions that as soon as you open your eyes, they go away. A lot of people come out crying because of how beautiful it is. It's kind of like an internal kaleidoscope that uh, is unforgettable. And the, the float afterwards is the perfect way to kind of absorb what you just saw. I had somebody come here who had PTSD since 9-11 and she had never floated before, but she had heard that it could deal with uh, PTSD. And she floated and she came out and sat in the bench in our lobby and just had a look of euphoria on her face and said, I have not relaxed for 15 years. This is the first day I've ever relaxed. And for her, this was a profound experience because she, it, it actually gave her some, re, some relief after 15 years. These good things are very likely to happen if you allow yourself to settle into it and to center yourself. That's the great thing about the tank, is that it can benefit both mental issues and physical issues. 